Look, none of us is perfect. I'm not and neither are you, which presents us with a problem if we believe in Jesus, because his promise is that when we put our trust in him, he'll give us a new life. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. On the one hand, by putting your trust in the Jesus who died for you on that cross, your sins are forgiven and through his resurrection, you're given a new life. And yet on the other, our fears, failures, foibles and flaws seem to linger on. Why can't God just wave his cosmic wand and make us perfect? And yet it's a transformation that'll take a lifetime to complete. In the past, we were foolish too. We didn't obey, we were wrong, and we were slaves to the many things our bodies wanted and enjoyed. We lived doing evil and being jealous. People hated us and we hated each other. But then the kindness and love of God our Saviour was made known to us. He saved us because of his mercy, not because of any good things we did. He saved us through the washing that made us new people. He saved us by making us new through the Holy Spirit. So what do you do with this gap between the theology and the reality that some sin still lingers on? I heard a man say recently that he developed a healthy dissatisfaction with his ingrained character flaws. In other words, he knows that he's been made new, but at the same time recognizes the reality of his sin. And he's not going to settle for it. He's not going to accept it. He'll continue to allow God to do his washing for the rest of his days on this earth. A healthy dissatisfaction with our character flaws. That's good. That's real. That's God's word. Fresh for you today. Today.